What's up everyone? Slender here and today we're going to talk about fishing. All the new things you can do with fishing, the new trophies, the new recipes, the new skins that you can get for the fishing poles, and just everything. Everything that they're changing with this new update. Um, the new update and the Medley Fair event that's coming up real soon. So a lot of people ask me, you know, when is the update coming? And I don't know. I think it's probably going to be right around July 25th. I think that's going to be our magic number. So we'll see. Um, again, I get that asked in all my videos that, uh, about the Medley Fair. When is this coming? Because, well, everyone's excited. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a lot of fun. And this is the first event, I think, that's going to be super relevant and have a lot of great stuff that we actually care about. And we're going to go over that. We're going to go over the different things you can do with fishing, some of the different um, mechanics that they've added, not in fishing itself, but just what you can do with the fish that you catch and cover everything. So I don't want to waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Now, one quick thing before we get started, just want to give a huge shout out and big giant thank you to Mr. Edwin Sierra or Sierra, sorry. Edwin Sierra. He donated uh, quite a bit of money to this channel and it just blew me away. I got this notification on my phone today um, from from PayPal because I have a, you know, I have a little PayPal donation button up on the top and it just blew me away. I called my mom. <laughs> I called my editor. I said, oh my God, somebody helped support the channel in, in a big way. And it, you know, we donated $47 to uh, the to the children's hospital this month because of the extra subscribers we got and you know the new members um and you know i was like man this is starting to get expensive but hey that's okay that's our goal right let's donate as much as we can so we're at 47 dollars, and this guy edwin more than covered the cost thank you so much brother and you know i will continue to support new world because even if the developers aren't passionate about this game i am you know, and I think it be, can be great. So I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So thank you, brother. So first things first, let's talk about these new sturgeon they've added for the medley fair. Now, if uh, I'm sure most of you have already seen the videos that I've been putting out on the medley fair, but if you haven't, you know, they've introduced a new type of fish that you can fish for. And these are specific to this event. And these will be going away after the events over, but they look awesome. And you know, just a really quick thing. I know this is more waffle as one of my viewers puts it, you know, needless information, but I'm going to say it anyway. I've complained about fishing in the past where the mechanics itself is very um, lacking. You know, you just left click and that's it. Left click. That's all you do. You've got your fish. It's not like other games like Red Dead Redemption 2, but that's OK, because what this game lacks in mechanics fishing wise, it makes up for more than enough with the beauty i mean just look at this place you know i've never really um appreciated fishing because all my fishing i've done was just you know waiting for a dungeon or waiting for a, a tank to come to the party and we'd just be fishing off of the dynasty docks there you know at the entrance and and that's all i did and and i hated it but after doing this event and seeing these new fish and and coming across these amazing fishing spots i have a completely new perspective on fishing and appreciation for it. it is just beautiful and and relaxing and and i kind of get it now i understand i've been missing out on this stuff and i wish i would have got into it earlier but i'm going to talk about some things that they've added other than the new um Aeternum sturgeon that is going to make fishing you know put fishing on the map and and have a reason to actually do fishing now because I've asked my friends, why the heck do you have 200 fishing? It is pointless. Well, not anymore. So uh, these are the fish that you can catch. And what you do with them is you break them down and you salvage them. It's super, super basic. And there's these fishing hotspots, these new event specific fishing hotspots all over the map. And when you catch the fish, you can get a small, medium or large, a turn them sturgeon and you salvage them and that's it you salvage them and they turn into materials that you can then turn in uh, and trade or exchange them for the event tokens and you use the tokens to buy stuff and i'm going to show you all the cool things that you can do with these tokens in regards to fishing so the coolest thing that you can do with fishing that they've added that i'm just going crazy for 
is these guys. You can make and mount your fish. They've added taxidermy to the game. Now, hopefully they'll keep this in the game even after the the events over, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I think these are going to be event specific because it's going to require specific event materials to make these, but it's pretty basic. When you're fishing in these, you know, special hotspots, you'll get these baskets every once in a while with this stuff in it. Pristine soaked wood, assorted seagrass, and something else. And you're going to use those to make your three different uh, tiers of memento stands. So they got magnificent, glorious, and great. And you're also, to mount the fish, you're gonna have to have ether vials. And that's another thing that you can get from the shop. And it just costs, you know, a certain amount of tokens. And to make the really cool legendary fish, you're gonna have to have the legendary ones. And I think these ones cost 20. So they're pretty expensive. But you're gonna be able to make your own stands and they look great. So you can mount clams, you can mount the dragonfish, all these cool fish that we've been catching and have nothing to do with, you know, other than getting some fillets and whatnot. You can even mount the snail, you know? It's just, it's awesome. All these different fish. And the coolest part about it is the legendary fish. I've never actually seen what these fish look like other than, you know, just for a second when he pulls it out of the water. But now you can have these and they'll last forever. And you can actually see, you know, a real physical representation of what they look like instead of just the icons. So that is the this is the this whole system that right here is the most exciting thing for me that they've added to the game. And I actually, like I said, I have some lava or some uh, blue blooded barbs, and I mounted them. I'm going to show you what they look like. So this is them. This is what they look like. I even got the tadpole. And, you know, I have the settings turned up at very high for you so that you can actually see what the, the detail in these things. They're not some rush, cheaply made, you know, boxy looking, you know, uh, Minecraft pixelated <laughs> trophies. These are the real deal. They look beautiful. And I mean, just look at the, the light from the fire reflecting off the, the scales and everything. It just it looks amazing. So the second coolest thing about fishing, another thing that they've added to the game, are new fishing trophies. So you can buy these trophies, they stack, you can get three of them, and each one gives you 10% additional experience when fishing. So what does that mean? That means you can level fishing a lot faster, 30%, and I'm definitely gonna be getting these first so that I can start getting my fishing up a lot faster. And that also means you're gonna be getting aptitude chests for your fishing a lot faster. And these actually look really cool too. They look amazing. They're, they're sparkly. Um, they look a hell of a lot better than the old fishing trophies, I'll tell you that. And, uh, you know, as you can see here on the wall, they look really, really nice. Um, but on that note, number three on the list, and this is a big one, speaking of aptitude chests, because I know everybody's been complaining about aptitude chests. First, they were broken, and once they're fixed, you know, they suck. <laughs> you know, you get a couple of, um, you get a couple you know, craft mods and stuff. And, and, and that's pretty much it. Really nothing that's very valuable. But now there's going to be something very valuable in the aptitude chest. And that is going to be fishing gear patterns. So you're going to be able to craft your own fishing gear. And I'll tell you what, this is this. I got this pattern on the second epic fishing aptitude chest that I've got on the PTR. The second one. Now, I know it's still RNG and that could mean nothing, but so far it's a pretty good drop rate, right? Second one. And the great thing about these is, you know, the patterns themselves are not buying on equip, so you cannot sell them, but you can sell the gear that you make. So, you know, um, pretty soon none of these pieces are going to be very rare, but it's still cool. You're still going to be able to craft your own fishing gear. And if you already have your fishing gear, you can sell it. So those first, just think about the prices of the fishing gear. Um, when the first people start posting them on the marketplace, it's going to probably be pretty expensive. So that's something to look forward to. And, you know, you might want to save your fishing aptitude chest. I don't know if they're going to include the patterns if you hold them now until the patch comes out, but you never know. But definitely a huge, huge upgrade to the whole fishing profession. It's going to be pretty awesome. And the final thing that they've added to the game for fishing that I think is really cool is a bunch of new skins for your fishing poles. So they've got Shine of the Sturgeon, Midsummer Pole, and also one more, Fruit of the Vine. But unfortunately, this is the PTR and the skins don't work. 
The skins don't work for the fishing poles and they don't work for the clothes either because I bought this and uh, I've also bought the shawl and they don't work. You can't see them. So if they do get working and they do fix it, I'll make sure I, you know, make a little video about it. And same thing for the emotes. The emotes aren't working, but at least they've got cool stuff that, you know, that we can look forward to. Uh, I just can't show you in the video. And another thing they've added, which does work, is this new fishing pole. They've got a couple lower level fishing poles as well. Um, and I, you know what, I might as well just buy them and see what they look like. And I actually bought this one because I didn't have a good fishing pole. And this one's actually pretty nice. And they look really good. So that's going to do it for the fishing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I think I've pretty much covered everything that's going to be changing with fishing. And it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a lot much better. And I'm actually going to be a fisherman now. I cannot wait till the patch comes out. So if you guys have any questions about anything I just talked about or anything that has to do with the Medley Fair, I've got some great videos. And please leave comments, leave questions, and I'll answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys have a great day.